Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Wee Brunch Cradle. Welcome to my channel and here is Megan Hope. She is my partial silicone and um, today I'm doing a tag and she is one of the answers. Um, I received Megan a few years ago. Um, I bought her, um, well to my knowledge, second hand, but she could have been like third or fourth i have no idea she still has her original hair and she is getting a bald spot <laughs> which i think is adorable because my real son's had a bald spot she is only three quarter arms but full legs she wears a really nice size newborn so she is a bigger preemie, partial silicone. I did reweight her. Or did I? No, I didn't. I did not reweight her. Or wait, I can't remember. I do remember replacing her head over the years. I'll insert a picture that I did with Eric many years ago when I replaced her head. Um, I did sew up her body. So this is her original body. You could tell this is back in the day when I used to put baby powder on and then brush it off. Um, over the years, people, I remember people asking if baby powder ever, um, stained the clothes like this. And if this is not stained, it's because I didn't, I didn't pound it out enough so to some people it might seem as stained but if i keep brushing it and brushing it the white will come off so but i did have to uh fix her body and i'll show you right away just want to be gentle now, I'm here today to do a tag, a tag question tag, which I love tags. Um, I just sew her neck, like, up in here. She had a tear in her neck, in her body, and I just sewed it. I don't think she's signed, but she is the, um, oh, what? Scoped is she? I don't think she's signed. No, but she, I mean, this body was advanced when I got her, like with the, with the tush on there and the, and the, um, gathered chest. That was kind of a new thing coming out back then when I bought her. I love her painting. It's still very much original. She really and truly, she has no flaws to me. <laughs> Her feet are still extremely realistic. No tears, no scratches. Um, she's a little bit shiny in areas, but I mean, the silicone is going to be like that. Excuse my voice. Um, I have fall allergies. But I'm here to do the tag question tag. And I first saw this tag on the Doll Attic channel. So shout out to the Doll Attic. Thank you. Um, I really enjoyed her answers. And she said that the tag is originally by Rebecca's Cloud Kids Reborn Nursery. And I will link that original video down below. And I'll also link the Doll Addicts tag video down below. <sighs> I feel like I'm out of breath. I can't, the weather is so hot. Anyways, and there's no fan on, no air conditioning over here. Um, the, she decided to tag this, or name this tag, Dolly Playtime Tag. And there are 10 questions. And you can look at Megan, um... While I answer, I do want to try, I'll put this, her onesie away. It's just a Carter's newborn. Like it says, she wears newborn very well. Oh, I was coming to her sculpt. 
Um, Angela Lewis, I think. Yes, I own, there's, um, I, I get her and Nathaniel mixed up. Nathaniel is my Charlotte. Sh I, I have trouble saying Charlotte. Charlotte? I keep wanting to say Charlotte. Or is it Charlotte? Anyways, she is by C.V. Whitting, or Whiting. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Christina Vassell Whiting dolls. But this one is by Angela Lewis. And, um, ooh, I'll have to look up her scope name. It's on my phone, actually. I'll be back. I'll find out. Okay, she is the Brooklyn Silicone by Angela Lewis. And I want to try on this beautiful, this is like a bunting bag kind of thing. Sleep mirror, I don't know, <laughs> a bunting bag. And this hat, this matching hat from Timu. So I think it'll go really well with her complexion. So I'm just... see how first how this hat oops I noticed that her eyelashes need to be replaced no she doesn't even have any yeah I would love to replace her eyelashes one day <clears throat> um anyways <laughs> It's hard for me to do two things at once because I'm very hot. I'm sweating. <laughs> I can't believe we started to have fall, you guys. Um, if you're on my Instagram, around, like, before mid-August, we had leaves falling from the trees. And now many trees are turning yellow and orange. It's beautiful. But the weather is so hot. I can't believe it. <clears throat> And sorry about my voice again. But let's see. Number one. How long have you been collecting dolls? I've been collecting dolls since 2015 in the doll hobby on YouTube. Um, my very first reborn was my Emily Faye. And there's a question about her later. Um, can wait. <laughs> How do I do this? Um, I'll lay it out first. Oh, Megan. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> um, now as a child, I loved dolls. I had Barbies. I had, um, uh, like regular baby dolls. I had Cabbage Patch. Um. That I still have. I loved her. She was my number one. And I never ever wanted to. Um, get rid of her. <clears throat> now when I was. Like. Maybe 15, 16. I still loved my dolls. But. I was starting to get. Criticism from. My family. Especially my mom. And saying, like, you know, dolls are for kids. Like, come on now, you're a teenager. Um, how would this go? Like this to protect her? <clears throat> and she's like, no more. So, you know, I did not collect dolls as an adult, uh, like, at that time. Because I believed that dolls were for kids and I never even thought about dolls I mean I've never used one of these before so I'm kind of figuring it out well this is tough tough velcro at least you know it works but if for a real baby it would be safe 
Um, I'm just trying to figure out what part would go over here. Like, I'm not sure. And here I am being distracted. Like, I think it would go over here to protect so that, like, it'll go under her chin like that. But which way do I do this? Like, do I? I think this is on the outside. I'm going to guess. <clears throat> so. Um. And so I never even thought about collecting dolls or nothing. I had a family um, when I was older. I was close to 30 when I started a family. I know I'm, I'm a late bloomer. Um, let's see. <laughs> I'm not sure how this is. This? Aww. Burrito baby. Burrito baby. Oh, can you see her? Aww, she is so realistic. Oh my god. She looks like Eric. Ah, I can't get over how realistic she looks. This is why I love silicone babies. I mean... Ah, they look real. I remember when I first got um a silicone and I felt that I think I'm pretty sure Megan was my very first silicone with the ears. Ah, her ears feel real. I think this is how it goes. Let's see. <laughs> okay, I'm being totally distracted. I'm going to try this something else. <laughs> so, she's happy here. <laughs> you guys, it's so hot. I can't believe it. After this, I'm turning on the AC. I am definitely turning on the AC. Oh, my goodness. It's, oh, we have a heat wave. And it was like September 1st. <laughs> Of course, not as hot as many other people, I'm sure. But I mean, in northern Canada, this is hot. <laughs> okay, questions. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I was answering number one. How long have I been collecting dolls? Um, reborns, especially in 2015. Before that, I didn't even think about any kind of dolls i mean i had i was talking about me having a family i was like i think i was 26 when i had jeremy well let's see he's turning 23 and i'm 50 so 27 27 was when i had jeremy wow Sorry, I'm <laughs> I'm getting memories just when he was a baby. <laughs> so I was twenty seven when I had Jeremy, and I had three sons. I never had any girls, so I never bought any Barbies or like girly doll toys. I did buy a boy doll once, um, but my sons were never really interested in that. So I still have it, it's just a little. So now I'll just add that doll to my collection with the Reborns. I do have a child Reborn, Carly, and that will be her doll. Anyways. But um, from the time I was like 15, 16, when I was kind of like forced 
to stop playing with dolls. I never thought about dolls at all until 2015. So, yeah, I do have a story of how I stumbled accidentally onto the hobby. I, that might be a question, too. I'm not sure. Anyways, number two. <laughs> Number two, how many dolls do I have in my collection? I have a giant collection. Now, what is giant? To some people, giant could mean 30, 40, 50 is higher. <laughs> I finally admitted how many I have, but not the exact number. Because I'm still, there's still stigma about a large collection. But let's just say I have over a hundred. And I know exactly how many I have because I keep track. I keep track of when I receive the doll in my collection. Like not a date, but I mean just an order. I put down the name that I gave them. And then I put down their kit name. I don't say who reborn them. I'm pretty, I'm, I know who reborn who. Uh, the only ones I don't are the secondhand dolls I buy. And I do have a lot of secondhand dolls in my collection. So, um, but yes, let's just say I have over a hundred. Um, uh, what kind of dolls is number three? Well, the intention of my collection in the beginning <clears throat> like, I'm curious. I'm very curious, and I wanted to see dolls from different artists. I wanted to see, I wanted to own different varieties of dolls, like um, uh, rooted hair, painted hair, combination hair, which is both rooted and um, painted hair. I own a few of those dolls. Um, bald. Did I say bald? Um, I, sorry, my throat <clears> is <throat> my allergies. Um, I wanted a doll with a belly plate. I wanted a doll with a full vinyl on her. Him. Is it her? <laughs> I wanted to experience three quarter arms, three quarter leg, full legs, um, different types of limbs. I wanted... Um, different sizes that I want I own from preemie all the way to child um I just I wanted to see oh I have different like biracials I have AA babies um African American I have uh, Asian babies I have native babies I have um I even have like yeah, it's just all skin tones of babies. I just wanted a diverse collection, and that was my intent. That's what I have, and I love them all, most of them. <laughs> that will come to another question. <clears throat> um, oh, but I also collect um, baby lives because I always wanted to when I was a kid and it never happened so now that I'm older and I can I will <laughs> and now I'm also adding a replica rewards to my collection though counterfeits or fakes whatever people call them I personally call them replicas so yeah I am adding replicas to my collection um, number four, what made you want to collect dolls? I said this before a few minutes ago, but I stumbled upon this hobby by accident. And she's getting really heavy, you guys. <laughs> she's getting heavy. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay, in 2015... That was five, eight years ago. So I was like 42. And at that age, most of my sons were pretty getting older. Eric was still a toddler. Well, a preschooler. And um, back then, 
I mentioned this before as well. I feel like I keep repeating myself. So back then, I was into, uh, well, I used to sell Avon. So I was into the beauty routines and the morning routines. I wanted to know what other busy working moms did in their vlogs. I found them very interesting. I used to follow a few people who I really enjoyed um, because they were busy moms who also did their beauty routines and you know so anyways i was looking up i was into watching the morning routines because that's the most important in a busy household with kids is your mornings and i came across this video that said baby's morning routine and the thumbnail looked so cute it was the baby in the crib and you know so i'm like oh I want to watch it because I miss my sons when they were babies and I remember how it was I kind of missed it so I clicked on it and I started watching it <laughs> and seriously my first thoughts were is that a dead baby <laughs> I was so confused and then I realized it was a doll and then the lady who's in the video, I'm like, yeah, okay, she can look like a teenager. Okay. And then I started thinking teenagers are so lucky. Nowadays they have realistic dolls and I was envious and watching more and just going down memory lane of how I used to really love playing with my dolls. And then she's like, okay, time for daycare. And she actually got in a car and she was actually driving. And I'm like, wait, she can't be a, a, a young teenager. She has a driving license, driver's license. So I'm like, what? I'm like, I was so confused. And then I'm like, so I started looking up more videos about this. And then I came across, um, having you on Yvonne from having you on she's a woman she's like a lady and I also discovered um going through channels my sweet cupcake Linda and she's like these women are older like and I'm older and I'm like what and there was also a channel Maria's sweet moments Maria's sweet memory moments or something Maria's sweet moments Anyways, I can't remember her name because she's been off YouTube for many years, but I used to watch her and these are women. And I'm like, what? I, what? What is this hobby? So, yeah, then the rabbit hole opened and I jumped right in. <laughs> um, so what made me want to collect my very first doll? Um, curiosity. I curious i'm always curious and i want to see i want to know for myself like people say this they say that um reaper dolls are realistic they feel realistic and and i'm like okay i can see that they look real and then people are saying well they look better in person so i'm like i want to see that for myself i want to feel it for myself so my curiosity got the better of me and I did, I ordered one and I did a video about this, but I was actually a little disappointed with my very first because she was smaller than I thought. She was only the size of a preemie and I was hoping to get like, you know, like a newborn size like this one, but that didn't happen. <laughs> Eventually it did after I started buying more, but, um, yeah, curiosity. I wanted to know. You said they feel real. You said they even smell real. Let me try it out. Let me see for myself. So I did. <laughs> and I'm still like that. I'm just curious. Um. So, number five. What do you do with your dolls? In the beginning, I've always loved making role play videos. Um, changing videos, um, even off camera, I love holding them, cuddling them, 
um, displaying, just even looking at, I have the car seat. I always have a car seat in the living room and I change out a baby in it all the time. So all I have to do is look over and glance at them and they're so realistic. It just, I love it. I love how they make me feel. So what do I do with them? Um, there are dolls I admit I only have for display purposes. Like my Poppy. She is an alternative. Oh, is that a question? What kind of dolls? I collect both alternatives and the babies. Like realistic babies. But I also collect alternatives. Um, Poppy is a rag doll. Inspired Reborn. And she, I don't really do anything with her she's just up on display in my bedroom along with a few other dolls i have a monkey orangutan doll um and i also have a puppy reborn doll and i i don't really spend a lot of time with them they're so cute and i love holding them once in a while but i don't really do anything i don't really interact with them however a lot of the dolls i do interact with both on and off camera but anything, I love the stop motion videos. I used to do a lot of those. Just being with them is so calming. Um, number six, have you have you bonded with all of your dolls? No. A lot of the dolls, if I don't have a bond with them, and I've done videos about this before, but I will either change their gender, reweight them. Or even even changing up their limbs, like just switching limbs with another doll. Um, one of the biggest things in this hobby is that you could do for yourself is learn how to reweight the dolls, and it's really not hard. The very first time I reweighted the doll, thankfully I had help, I had guidance, and now I do them on my own anytime it's so easy to me now the more you reweight the doll the easier it gets um but there are two dolls still in my collection that i don't i tried the gender i tried we wait no i didn't try reweighting i didn't try changing up the limbs either because but i did try changing their gender that's the easiest thing to do and i still I'm like, I'm not sure what, quite what to do with them, so. <laughs> I'm not sure, but yes, I do own. And I'm so afraid to sell. I'm so afraid to sell because of all the scams around. But anyways, number seven. Which doll is your favorite? I have many, many favorites. But this Megan Hope, she is probably my top favorite. If I could save just one doll she would be that doll because <laughs> she is the spinning image of Eric. Oh my goodness, she looks just like him the day he was born. And I have, well, I remember, like, it was total coincidence. This is not a custom baby. I just bought her second hand from a friend um, on Facebook and um, I didn't even think that she would look like him at all but when the day I opened her um, and then she was laying on the floor and I saw this view like just laying there on the floor and I'm like oh, that looks like Eric like exactly like him and I started crying <laughs> She even feels real. She really does feel real. So she's heavy like, oh, it's just Eric. Anyways, even the skin tone, even Eric had that hair color. And Eric had, well, actually his hair was a bit darker than this, but it's Eric. But the reason why I have her as a girl is because I always wished to have a girl. I never did. I was hoping Eric would be a girl so bad. But um, even Brendan, if he would have been a girl, Megan would have been his name. And when Eric came around, it was either going to be Eric for a boy or Erica or Megan 
for a girl. Even with Jeremy. Jeremy, if he wasn't a boy, he would be named Megan. And Megan Hope is her name because I always hoped for a girl. <laughs> Never got one. But now I do. Now I have my Megan. Um, let's see. Number, I'm looking at this card that I wrote them down. Um, what is your first doll and do you still have it? Yes, I still have my Emily Faye. Emily is another name that I would have given my sons if they were born. It was either Emily or Megan. But um, Faye is after my grandmother. Her middle name was Faye. Her first name was Lulu. <laughs> Lulu Faye. But um, uh, I do. What was her kid name? The Dawn's O'Neill. I think Dawn's O'Neill. Oh, the Sophia by Dawn's, Dawn's O'Neill. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the sculptor's name is Dawn's O'Neill. And the kid name is called, what did I say? <laughs> oh my goodness. I just, I'm just picturing, um, I bought her from eBay. She was not my first choice. I really wanted Vanilla by Revashik. Because Linda had a beautiful Noah by Revishik, her Jasmine. And I know she has a Jasmine now, a Noah by Revishik, a Jasmine, but it's not her original baby girl. And I fell in love with that kit. And I always wanted a Noah. And there was an eBay auction at the time in 2015, back when there were Noahs being sold. Now it's sold out, but um, I lost the bidding, and I was really disappointed. And the seller told me, "Well, I have this other baby for sale." And, oh, the Sophia, and so yeah, she is really cute too. She's smaller than what I thought, but she's still really cute. And yes, I still have her. She's in a display basket behind the couch, where she stays safe from dust. I actually have like. I told you I have a car seat in the living room that's on display like I can see a baby, but there are, let's say I'll count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven babies in this living room. <laughs> ten of them are like wrapped up safe from the dust and I'll get them when I choose, when I feel like it. <laughs> But yeah, I have lots of dolls in the living room. And there's also Elodie over there. She is my masterpiece by Ashton Drake, the Laura Ballerina. She's also on display. And she's sitting in the corner just over there. <clears throat> oh my goodness, this video is long. Uh, number nine, where do you buy your dolls? In the beginning, it was eBay. And then for Ashton Drake, I used to buy from Bradford Exchange in Canada. Can you see her? But yeah, back in the day when eBay was safe, that's what I used to buy from. And then I started getting to know artists, fellow artists in Canada. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for the air conditioner to go on. But where do I buy my dolls now? I bought my recent dolls from Timu. <laughs> Timu and AliExpress. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. <laughs> I admit it. Number 10. Do your friends and family support you? My significant other, my common law husband, he totally supports me. He's the one. I was with him in 2015. He's like, you know what? Go for it. Buy, buy your very first doll. You're curious? Find out. And... See if see if it makes you happy like these other women who make them happy. And yes, sure enough. Um, my kids supports me. They don't like the dolls at all, but they support me. They do tolerate them being around the house. And in fact, in the beginning when Eric was younger, he used to be in videos with me quite a lot. And he would have fun like being like being around the dolls. Not so much, though, soon. As soon as he started getting older, he knew he didn't like it. 
I'm starting to cough a lot. Um, my dad supports my channel and he'll watch some videos and he'll, he'll like, I'm sorry my throat is like really sore. I've been talking to it. Um, my mom, she hates dolls. She doesn't understand why I buy them or collect them. She doesn't understand. She doesn't want to talk about it. My dad, he doesn't like the dolls, but he will support. He will tell people subtract subscribe to my daughter's channel. So he does promote my channel in that way. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I have some friends, like all my friends know about my channel. My coworkers know about my channel and um they support me. I mean, they may not like the dolls, a lot of them. Some of them are just as curious as I am to hold them and see them and know what they're like. But, um, and they support my channel. I have a few co-workers who are subscribed to me. So for the most part, yes, they are supportive. Um, there's only a few family members who don't support the hobby, but, but whatever i mean i've always been a black sheep of the family so i've always been the weirdo of the family so this is nothing nothing new to them she's getting really heavy my throat is starting to get sore um <clears throat> i don't like coughing on you <laughs> i don't like i keep pausing the videos i'm getting very hot i'm gonna have to turn on the air conditioning <clears throat> Anyways, guys, hope that you're having a great day. Thank you so much for being here with me and Megan. And this is a really fun tag and story. It took so long. So please check out the channels down below. I really enjoyed this tag. It was a lot of fun. And then until next time, guys, very, very, very soon. <clears throat> Bye for now. Bye, <laughs> guys. Much time, guys. Bye. Bye for now. See you next time. Bye.